There's a movie theater down the block. It's got three rows, numbered 0, 1, and 2. And it's got uh, five chairs per row, lettered A, B, C, D, and E. People go to this movie theater, they get a seat assignment. So you go in there, you pay to see the movie, you get assigned to chair 0A, 0B, 0C, 1D, 1E, like so. And that's where you sit throughout the movie. So these are the chairs. C, chairs, equals A, B, C, D, E. The rows, R, will follow a range of 0 to 3. We'll use pretty print from pprint, pretty print, import pprint, and we'll refer to it as pp. Next, I'm going to create a variable called dex. And I'm going to assign it the following. I'm going to tell it to go through this variable, C. And for every letter in C, I want to see letter, colon, and then empty. And I want to do it for all these rows. For Y in R. Now, so you can see how this works. Let's do this one first. If I just key it in like this, it's going to say B empty, E empty, D empty, C empty, and A empty. But now I'm going to add on to this. I'm going to do that for every Y in R. Now watch what happens. You get these guys. Wow. I have to key that whole thing in again. I don't want to have to do that. So this time I'm going to assign this to a variable called x. And then I get the same mess when I key in x. Unless I pretty print it, ppx. And then I get something that looks a lot better. And this is what I get. Problem, I don't see the row on this. Just the chairs for each row. I'm going to change that. Right over here. I'm going to make this say, give me, show me the string of y, concatenate that with letter, colon, empty. So it'll show me row plus letter, colon, empty, for each letter in the chairs, and then for each y in the row. Okay, that's done. Let's take a look at this with ppx, and let's see if it uh, fits the screen. Almost. Let's uh, change that right now on the fly. And there we go. That looks pretty nice, I think. I've got 0A, 0B, 0C, 1A, 1B, 1C, 2A, 2B, 2C, etc. So this woman called Victoria comes into the theater and buys this ticket. She wants to uh, sit in the 0th row and seat 0A. That's right over here. Currently it's empty, so that's okay. So X0, then... The key, 0A, equals Victoria. I hit enter. Now, what does this look like? Oh, there she is. Victoria is in seat 0A of the 0th row. Ah, what about me? I want to sit next to Victoria right there. So what do we do? Well, dollars to donuts. It's pretty easy to do this. Change that 0A to 0B. And I'll change Victoria to George. And that means this is not going to be empty anymore. George is going to go there. Let's find out if that worked. Bingo, that worked. George is right, sitting right next to Victoria. Something's wrong with the seat. So Victoria decides to move to 0C. So we key in X0 and then the key value 0C. That's equal to Victoria now. So the cth key, zero cth key, of the zeroth row is now Victoria. We now have a problem. Victoria is in two places. What do I got to do with this? That's right. I'm going to change that to empty. Well, I can't be the word empty there. Paste it there. Change that to A. So the zeroth rows, zero A key, is going to now say empty. So this will change over here to empty now. Let's find out if that's what happened. It did. Wow. Here's George, and there's Victoria. That's a nice seating system. And uh, that's enough for today. This is George Bull. I hope that was useful. Uh, please rate the video. Click on the like button. I appreciate that. And I wish a lot of luck.